Hello, good evening, Cindy, Andrea, and Walter. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. There you are. Now I see you. All right, everyone. Hi, good evening. All right, welcome everyone to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you. you. Let me write down the date. Date. All right. So today is Wednesday. Okay, April. 26, 2023. What do you do? We are in beginners, beginners to class number seven. <clears throat> so I hope you're safe and sound and you are ready to nail it tonight. So let's check. Let me know whenever you finish taking notes, please. I think you finished. Let's go with, do you remember? We have two questions. No, sorry, we have two statements, two prompts, actually. We have number one. Uh, Cindy, can you read number one, please? Yes, mention at least three places that you learned last class. Thank you, select someone. Seleccione a alguien, Cindy, por favor. It doesn't matter if you know him or not. No importa si lo conoce o no, okay? Just select it. Wendy Arevalo. Very good. Okay, so tell me three places that you learned last class, Wendy. Okay, okay, los que no me contestan ahorita significa que no están en la clase. Se Hi Miguel, good evening. How are you doing? Uh, I'm better. I'm better, okay. thank you. Perfect, excellent. Okay, what so about you? Teacher? I'm doing pretty good, Miguel. All right, I can complain. Thank you. Well, uh, don't worry, keep calm. Don't forget we have a doctor in the class. <laughs> oh yeah. Now I, I have it pretty clear. Ahora sí lo tengo bien claro, right? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Let's go with Wendy Arevalo a la one. Wendy Arevalo a la two. Good night. Good Hi. evening, teacher. Ah, este, que no sé qué es lo que dijo que hicieron. ¿Qué dijo? Es que voy, 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 voy entrando, voy entrando a la clase, entonces por eso. Don't worry, no se preocupe. No sé qué. La compañerita Cindy le va a explicar. Ok. Aula inversa. <ríe> no me busquen, soy eh, pelagoda. Action, eh, Cindy. Eh, you have to mention at least three places that you learned last class, yesterday. Uh -huh. Oh, place. Ok. Um... I don't remember. Ay, señor. Uh, a yellow shirt, un cuadrito amarillo que tenían a la par de uno blanco, next to the white one. Igual ayer entre tarde a la clase, no sé. No, pero eso lo vimos bien. como en intermedio de la clase. Bueno. Intermedio. Ok. Yeah. I don't remember, teacher. Ok, don't remember. Bye. Recuerden, thank you, Wendy, no se preocupe. Solo de manera de consejo, ya vamos por la séptima clase este día. Y quería crearles la costumbre de la primera clase que tomaran notas. Porque a mí no me gusta que me digan, I don't remember, teacher. I don't have a teacher. No, you're adults. Ya son adultos, all right? You can say that. No pueden decir eso. No se pueden excusar en eso. Este... A no ser que estén enfermos de verdad, all right? Inclusive, hay gente que estuvo enferma y estuvo en la clase y participando. <coughs> all right? Pero si sí, quiero enfocarles en eso. Si toman nota, se benefician ustedes, all right? The benefit is not for me. El beneficio es para ustedes porque recuerdan, 
tienen eh, la capacidad de, de buscar la información en el momento. ¿okay? Just as a matter of advice, solo de manera de, de consejo, ¿verdad? Eh, let's copy, copiemos. Okay, now, Cindy, select another one, otra victim. Okay, my dear friend, Sebastián Guadalupe. Ah, <laughs> ya le dio consulta gratis. <laughs> okay, good night. Pero, good, good, good pero evening, realmente sorry. es su amiga. Ah, hi, you. Mm, that's weird. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Con cariño yes. así, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay, three places that I learned in yesterday. Um, hospital in a hospital, mm -hmm. in an office, uh, in a hotel, in a store. Okay, okay, excellent. Bravo, thank you, uh, Lupe. You're always giving me the extra mile. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> Now, eh, Miguel. Read question number two. Léame la, la pregunta dos o el statement dos y escoja a quién le va a preguntar. Ok. Uh, number two. Mention at least three activities that you recall. Mm, let me see. Maybe Oscar o Toniel Cruz. Right. Excellent. Oscar. Ok. Three activities. Um, Estaban en la parte del cuadrito amarillo. El cuadrito amarillo eran los places y el white chart eran las activities. Uh, stands all day. Uh -huh. Yes. Works at night. Uh, talks to people. Perfect. Thank you. That's correct. The activities, all right? Usual activities, actividades que se realizan usualmente. Perfect, thank you, both of you. Gracias a los cuatro participantes. Now, <laughs> your practice time. You might remember that yesterday we were struggling with this. All right, de seguro recuerdan que ayer estuvimos luchando, batallando por aquí con esto, right? So let's check. Eh, ya tuvieron, digamos que como pasan trabajando en realidad todo el día, pues no tuvieron mucho tiempo para practicar, pero de seguro unos cinco minutitos les quedaron por ahí libres. So let's check. Eh, um, I think that yesterday it passed Guadalupe, creo que ayer pasó Guadalupe. And also, Miguel, did you pass? Yes. Usted pasó ayer también. Mm, yes, yes. Ok, bye. Eh, Cindy. Remind me, please. No. No. Ah, <laughs> then you are my victim. <laughs> okay, your turn, please. Action. Solo permítame, voy a cortar esto porque está repetida y no quiero que se equivoquen. Okay. Action. Yeah. Ah, eh, sorry, solo le explico. La primera parte es lenta, all right? Where do you work? Como usualmente lo diríamos. Y luego me va a decir California style, where do you work? Ok, que no se le entienda. <laughs> Action. Let me see. <laughs> where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? No, where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? Bravo, Cindy, no la entendí. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's just a joke, all right? Es una broma que yo tengo siempre. Porque, uh, just to tell you something, para comentarles algo. Eh, hace unos años vino mi prima y me dijo ella, what are you gonna get? Así me lo dijo. Y yo, can you repeat your question again, please? <laughs> All right. Me estaba preguntando qué iba a comer porque estábamos viendo un menú. Pero the, her accent is totally different. All right. What are you going to get? And I was like, oh, are you telling me what am I going to eat? Me está diciendo que me está preguntando qué voy a comer. All right. So you got to get used to it. Entonces mi broma es, cuando no le entiendo nada, entonces ahí está bien. Excellent. 
<laughs> All right. Teacher, can you yes. repeat again, please, uh, the statement? Al, el ejemplo o, o esta de aquí? The, the examples, yes. All right. Eh, la versión rápida, ¿verdad? No, no, no. Lo que contó usted de su prima que le ah, dijo. Yo tampoco entendí. Eh, ella me quería decir, quería. what are you going to get? ¿Qué vas a tener? ¿Qué vas a comer? Right? Pero lo decía, what are you going to get? What are you going to get? Ajá, what are you gonna get? No terminaba las palabras. What are you gonna get? Okay. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay. That's Thank correct. You. Gotta get used to it. Very good, Cindy. Let's go with Ana Melendez. Action. First slow, primero tranquilita, despacito y luego rápido. Action. Your microphone, Anita. Anita la one. Anita la two. Hi. Yes, sorry. No, tenía problemas de conexión. Ok, don't Por worry. Por eso ingresé un poco tarde. No se preocupe, la compré. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you want? No, perdón. What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? What do they do? Very good, excellent. Thank you. Very good, Anita. Thank you. Let's go with Alison Tovar. Let's see if you can help me with it. Vamos si puede ayudarme con esto, please. Good evening. Hello. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does his work? Where does his work? Where do they work? Where do they work? Why do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do what do they do? What do they do? All right, thank you, Alison. Let's keep practicing, all right? Don't worry. This is just a training. Thank you. Now, everyone, hago un consejito aquí. Donde tengan la what, aprovechen de hacerlo un poquito más aguado, right? For example, uh, what do you do? What do you do? Como con la A. En vez de la T, perdón, en vez de la T, sería la R en el sonido. What do you do? What does he do? What do they do? Right? Change it a bit. Right? Now, uh, we won't have time to pass everyone. No tenemos el tiempo para pasarlos a todos. All right. Especially porque algunos en realidad aquí no me lo están haciendo rápido. Van lentos siempre. Así que vamos a pasar a la conversation. Mejor que aquí sí es donde vamos a estrenar más ese speaking. <clears throat> so we have, he works in a hotel. Voy a ponerles el video from the platform. Section 3. Okay, so here we go. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to form WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I would like to get started by listening to a conversation titled he works in a hotel. Let's listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there, too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Now, let's try to understand. If by any chances, let's pray that never happens to you. De verdad que espero que eso jamás le suceda, okay? That's really mean. <laughs> uh, for the people who did not get the meaning of the conversation, uh, para los que quizás no comprendimos muy bien el contexto de la conversación, una de ellas creo que es, es Angela, ajá, uh -huh, 
she's criticizing the manager of the hotel, of the hotel, right? Ella está criticando al manager de ese hotel y resulta ser que el manager de ese hotel donde su hermano trabaja es en realidad el hermano de Rachel, right? Entonces, eso nos enseña a nunca chambrear. Okay, here we go. Let's go with Rachel and Angela. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Eh, también pueden decir hotel, como se menciona en el video, all right? Yo digo hotel porque así es como la he conocido y así la he ocupado siempre. Pero si ustedes quieren decir hotel, it's okay. All right? Already, my brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? Use, no me manche la pizarra. The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. Where does he do? What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Okay. Let's go with. Do I have volunteers? Tengo voluntarios para esta conversation. Okay, Michael. And Andrea, all right? Porque Miguel y Guadalupe son amigos. Así que vamos a poner a Andrea. <laughs> so let's check. Action, Miguel, you are Rachel. And Andrea, you are Angela. Luego Guadalupe va a pasar con alguien más, right? Me va a dar support. Me va a dar apoyo con alguien más. Action. Okay. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's from a desk. He he's a front desk agent. How does how does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work? The he work for the plaza. That's funny. That's funny. My brother goes there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Bravo! Excellent! Very good rhythm, Andrea. La sentí, la sentí, no, Andrea. Very good. Excellent, Michael, with your pronunciation and also the intonation of the different voices that you gotta use, right? La, decimos las diferentes voces que tenemos que utilizar en una conversación porque cambian. Por cada oración, cambia la entonación que presentamos. Very good. Excellent. Both of you. Excelente ambos. Let's go with Guadalupe. Do me a favor, Guadalupe. Hagamos un favor enorme. Escoja usted con quién quiere participar, please. Pero que no sea Cindy. Ok. Ya la vi por ahí, así como, choose me, select me. Uh, ok. Um, José Pedro. Perfect. Perfecto, entonces. Eh, Guadalupe, you are Rachel. Jose, you are Angela. Action. Usted es Rachel. But... Ok. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He is a front desk agent. How does he like it? <clears throat> Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. What do but what what how does the uh, work for the plaza? <clears throat> but funny um brother work where to? Oh, that is interesting. What does he do? Actually, Actually he has a man manager. 
Very good, excellent. Thank you, both of you. Impressive, Guadalupe. Impresionante. You didn't lose the flow. No perdió el flow ni la secuencia de lo que estaba haciendo. Even if you didn't have the support. Right? Very good, right? right? Eso es lo que tenemos que hacer siempre para mejorar, right? Even if the other person is not, not like doing so well, we gotta keep doing the good job, right? It's up to us. Depende de nosotros. Muy bien. Now, Jose, my dear friend, repeat after me, please. Uh, let me check. There. There. Okay, yeah. break it. Um, <clears throat> Sí, yeah, pretty much that. Básicamente, ¿está enfermo José de la garganta? Sí, este, tengo un poco de gripe. Mm, ok, don't worry, I got you. So, ok, bueno. lo comprendo. Gracias. And let's check, let's take care of those throats, right? Cuidémonos mucho la garganta, en serio, miren. Because I can't stop, I don't stop. Porque yo de plano no, no puedo parar, no paro, pero si ustedes pueden cuidarse la garganta, do it, porque... So, dolores de garganta, they are pretty heavy. Okay? Now, let's go with the next one. Solo, eh, Guadalupe, hay una palabra que sí me fijé. Interesting. Interesting. Ah, ahí está. Usted me está diciendo interesting. Y es interesting. Sin la E que está entre la R y la S. Um, okay. Interesting. There you go. Perfect. The cherry of the top of the pie. Let's go with Cindy. Please, Cindy, select someone. Seleccione a alguien, por favor. Mm, Mayra Simara. Ah, yes. My target. Siempre mi objetivo, Mayra. Action. Okay, Cindy, you are Rachel. Mayra, you are Angela. Action. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? It? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. Talk to bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother was 32. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he is the manager. Bravo, girls. Excellent. Thank you, both of you. Let's felicito a ambas. Very good. Cindy, great intonation and pronunciation, as well as Mayra. Mayra, you have improved a lot. Usted ha mejorado muchísimo, Mayra, right? Y la invito a que continúe haciéndolo, porque... Ya se quitó ese miedo que la primera clase tenía, que no me participaba. Now you do it. Ahora lo hace. Congrats. La felicito. Let's go with Oscar. Select your pair, please, Oscar. Um, um, Wendy. Wendy who? Porque creo que hay dos Wendy's. Está Wendy Arevalo y no sé si se ha conectado Wendy López. Let me check. Ajá, sí está. ¿Cuál de las dos? ¿Wendy Arevalo o Wendy López? Wendy López. Ok, perfect. Action. Usted va a ser Oscar Rachel. Wendy López, you are Angela. Action. Ok. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works at Horel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works in there too. Oh, sorry. Oh. My brother works there too. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's, he's the manager. Bravo, nailed it. Congrats, very good. I was, I was watching you floating, all right, through the air. 
noté cómo flotaba esa conversación, all right? That was perfect, muy bien. Se sintió como que de verdad estaban ahí hablando los dos, like naturally, perfect. Let's go with Jancy de Udanes. Select your pair, please. Escoja su pareja, por favor. Ana Meléndez. Ok, action. Usted sería, eh, Jancy, usted va a ser Rachel. Ana, you are Angela. Action. Where, the, where does your brother work? In Uncle. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very, not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's the bad. What hotel does he work? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, thanks. Interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Very good. Thank you so much for your effort. Both of you did great, but let's practice some words. Jancy, repeat after me. Interesting. Interesting. Very good. That's it. Ahí acabamos. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go with the next one. Vaya, recuerden quiénes van pasando en esta conversation porque más adelante tenemos una y no a todas voy a poder darles la oportunidad de que participen, ¿ok? So let's have Paula, Isabel. Please, select someone, Paula. Do we have Paula in the classroom? Yes, pero no puedo ver a los participantes. All right, déjeme, le digo. Tenemos a Cristian Giovanni, tenemos a Alison Stephanie, a Sonia Martínez, a Walter Muñoz. Walter. Ok, Walter, action. Vaya. Eh, Pablo, usted va a ser Rachel, Walter, Wa Ay, ya ven que me cuesta la art. Walter, you are Angela, action. Okay. I am Rachel. Yes. Okay. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a from this agent. How does he like it? No, very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's the bad. What other does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother was there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. I really and I highly appreciate your effort. Realmente aprecio mucho el esfuerzo que hacen al pasar al frente a hacer las conversaciones. Sin embargo, practiquemos algunas palabras. For example, Rachel, que era Paula. Repeat, agent. Agent. Right. Y luego, interesting. Interesting. Y Walter, actually. Actually. Right, perfect. Okay, um, I don't know if any of you are sick. No sé si alguno de los dos está enfermito de la garganta, pero sí les escuché un tono como bien down, like I'm sleepy, all right? And I understand, y lo entiendo. Yo también estoy sleepy, pero aquí me ven con los eyes wide open. Pero aquí me ven con los ojos bien abiertos. So, you gotta keep that in mind. This is my effort, this is your effort too. So, we have simple present WH questions. I'm going to use Victor. Uh, Victor, select someone, please. Seleccione a alguien. Para que practique con usted las questions and answers. Um, Paula. Oh, oh. But she just passed, Victor. Ella acaba de pasar, all right? 
select another one. Le voy a decir quiénes no han pasado. No ha pasado Cristian, no ha pasado Pero Alison, no ha pasado Sonia. Cristian. Ok, action, vaya. Usted pregunta, Víctor, Cristian, usted contesta, action. Where do you work? Eh, in the hospital. What do you do? Eh, I am doctor. How do you like it? I am really like it. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Victor and Christian. Let's stop in there, please. Now, let me have Christian. Siempre va a trabajar con Victor, pero ahora Christian, you ask. Victor, you answer the second round, the middle round. La segunda fila, please, action. Uh, where does he work? In a hotel. Uh, what does he do? He's a manager. Uh, how does he like it? It's okay. Perfect. Thank you, both of you. Let's go with Alison. Alison, you ask. Sonia, you answer. The last round, la última fila. Where do you where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They're waiters. How do they like it? They hate 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 it. Yes, they hate it, All right? Lo odian, they hate it. That's how we use it. They hate it. Así como utilizamos también. Oh, they love it. Oh, lo aman. También utilizamos they hate it. Lo odian. Okay? Thank you, both of you. Gracias a ambas. Now, let's move on to the following. WH questions and structure. Let me listen to Miguel. Can you please tell me the structure? Uh, okay. Uh, WH question structure. WH um, word plus do uh, slash <clears throat> sorry does plus subject plus complement plus uh, question mark that's correct thank you okay. uh, Guadalupe do me the honors please number one and number two number one where does Maria work and number two what does he do very good excellent Let's notice something, my dear students. Notemos algo de la dos. Notan ustedes que estoy utilizando el does y luego el do. Bueno, el does es mi auxiliar porque estoy utilizando tercera persona. Pero utilizo el do porque quiero preguntar qué está haciendo, right? ¿Qué hace? Perdón, ¿qué hace? Entonces, eh, puedo utilizar mi verbo do como verbo, no como auxiliar. ¿Por qué? Porque ya tengo mi auxiliar does. ¿Ok? So, let's copy this structure on your notebooks, please. Copiamos la estructura en el cuaderno. Tranquilitos, que no lo llevo de prisa, pero sí copienla. Okay, I think you already finished, right? So, shall we move on? Placement of adjectives in conversation. That's exciting. All right, let's check the platform. Nos vamos a la plataforma para tener un refuerzo. The listening. <clears throat> Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you will placement of adjectives. Particularly, you will learn B plus adjective and now plus adjective. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. That's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes. I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? 
It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job, and sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express the same. Okay, we won't pass to the grammatical part because that's my turn to explain. <laughs> Porque eso yo se lo voy a explicar, la parte gramatical. Antes de pasar a la conversation, quiero que practiquemos hacer preguntas con las WH words. Porque si recuerdan, vimos ayer las WH words, right? Um, o no fue con ustedes que vi las WH words. But you might know them already. Pero probablemente ya la saben porque eso se ve en el nivel 1. So let's check. Um, I'm going to give you time. Voy a darles tiempo. And I need you to create two questions. All right? Only two questions. Solo dos preguntitas con WH word plus the auxiliaries that you are going to need. Let's work on it. Paula, what do you mean with where the questions? Quiere poner where are the questions or I don't know what you want to say? Hello, hello? No, you gotta work in here, Paulita, right? Siempre trabajamos, eh, siempre trabajamos en el salón de clases, que es este, salón virtual. Cuando tienen dudas o necesitan sugerencias de algo, pueden preguntarse entre ustedes mismos en el grupo de WhatsApp. Por cierto, Paula, le enviaron la información del grupo de WhatsApp y las recordings. Sí, yeah, sí me lo enviaron ayer. That's... Perfect. Excelente, me alegro, qué bueno. All right. Yeah. Um, y usualmente también los examples, Paula. Recuerde que cada docente con el que va a tener clase puede actuar diferente, puede aplicar su metodología de manera distinta. Pero en cambio en la mía, usualmente les pido a ustedes que me lean sus ejemplos, porque yo voy evaluando dos cosas, la pronunciation, la fluency, la intonation, dos cosas, voy evaluando y evalúo como cinco. Fluency, intonation, grammar, uh, what else, what else, confidence, all right? Y hay otra más que evalúo cuando ustedes me las dicen las preguntas. Solo con escuchar sus preguntas yo voy hablando todos esos aspectos, right? So, yes. Miss, entonces tengo que decirle ahorita las preguntas. Sí, usualmente, Paula, yo pregunto cuando ya hayan terminado, like, have you finished? Yo les digo, have you finished? Y ustedes, si ya finalizaron, dicen, yes, I'm done. O solo dicen, yes. All right. Okay. 
Y ahí empiezo yo a decirles quiénes van a pasar o los que quieran ser voluntarios, pues lo hacen desde el principio. Ok, con pregunta y respuesta. Uh, no, you just express your examples. Usted solo me va a leer sus ejemplos. Ok. Yes. All right. Have anyone finished? ¿Alguien más ya finalizó aparte de Paula? Ok, perfect. Perfect, Guadalupe and Miguel. Ok, let's give a bit of time more. Vamos a dar un poquitín de tiempo más para los que no han finalizado todavía. Okay, let's get started. Let's start with Paula. Read your examples, please, Paula. Okay, um, where does Maria work? And what does my sister do at work? All right, pero su primera pregunta está exacta la mía, Paulita. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah. What about ah, my mom eat? <laughs> okay. Where? where does my mom eat? Oh, where does my mom eat? Very good. Yes. Clever. Clever. ¿Quién sabe quién, qué es clever? I don't. You don't know. Okay, don't worry. Listo? Yes. Pero es un listo como... Astuto, right? Que sabe qué decir en el momento apropiado. Inclusive. Like pues, smart. Ajá. Es un sinónimo, pero como les digo, un sinónimo como cuando te dicen, ay, mirala, ya bien astuta, ya sabe qué hacer para salvarse rápido, right? O miralo. Mm, para la maldad, he's pretty clever. All right, that's when we use it. Así es como utilizamos clever. Ok, let's go with Miguel. Tell me your examples. Dígame, dígame sus ejemplos. Okay, teacher. What do they do in the hospital? And uh, where does Aunt Delilah go? Sorry? Where does Aunt Delilah or Dalila go? Yeah, very good. Excellent. Let's go with Guadalupe. Okay, number one. Where does Cindy work? Mm -hmm. And number two. What does she do? Okay, perfect. A ver, Cindy, díganos. <laughs> Tell us. <laughs> uh, just kidding. <laughs> okay, now, Cindy, have you finished? Ya finalizó? Okay, tell me your examples. Why does Nick play soccer? What do you like to do on weekends? Very good, clever, smart, thank you. Uh, Ursula, let me listen to your examples. Yes, um... What does she cook and why do you run every day? Why do you run? What do you run every day? I run yes. every day. Very good, excellent. Wendy Lopez, let me listen to your examples. Your mm -hmm. microphone, Wendy. Where do you study in a school? Uh, e, where does she study? All right. Yeah, it works. Mm -hmm. Mismo contexto, pero diferente sujeto. Perfect. Thank you. Oscar. And after Oscar, Jancy. Um, how does she learn English? Mm -hmm. Where do they live? Very good. How does she learn English? Very good. Excellent. Action, Jansi. Jansi a la one. Jansi a la two. 
Sí, teacher, perdón, es que estoy teniendo un poquito de problemas con, la, con el internet. La comprendo, no se preocupe. Eh, sería, what do you do during your weekend? What else? Otra. What does Jose do in his space time? Time. What does Jose do in his spare time? Ahí sería. Spare time. Spare time. Sí. Uh -huh. Sí. Yes. Let's go with Allison. What yes. is? Where do you like? Where do you do? Uh -huh. <laughs> what do you do? Very good. What do you do? Giovanni, please. Giovanni Peñate. Uh, what do you do? Uh, where do we stand? Mm, pero what, what do you do? Ya me lo dijo Allison y de hecho está parecida a la mía. What does he do? Cámbiela, cámbiela. Um... Uh, what do you from work? What do for you work? do for work? All right, yes. For work? ¿Qué haces para trabajar? Very good. No, what do you do to work? Sería to work. To work, okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect, thank you. Uh, let's go with Andrea and after Andrea, Wendy Arevalo. Um... Where does where does Mateo meet today? And what does she say at class? What does she say at class? Very good. ¿Qué dice ella en clase? Very good. Let's go with Wendy. Where does Fernanda practice? What does he prepare? Very good. Excellent. Victor and after Victor Walter. And how do you learn maths? How does he feel now? Where do they swim? Very good. Excellent. Nailed it. Tres. Very good. Uh, Mayra. Hello, hello, Mayra. No se le escucha. Creo que tiene problemas con el audio, quizás. Well, hagamos una cosa. Entonces me lo envía por el chatbox. Me lo envía por la cajita de, de conversación. Ok, chatbox. Please. Let's go, everyone. <coughs> Richard and Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. Let's start with Victor. Uh, Victor, where are you? Donde anda Victor? No lo veo. Aquí está. Victor Ramos. You are Richard. Wendy Arevalo. You are Stephanie. Action. Hey, Stephanie, I heard you have a new job. Yes, I am a teaching math at Lycon High School. How do you like it? It's great that the students are terrific. How are things quite you? Not bad. I am five, five fighter now, you know. That, that's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job and yeah. sometimes it's dangerous. Thank you. Very good job. That's correct. I was exciting for you. Está emocionada porque habían hecho un excelente trabajo. Thank you, both of you. Let's go with Christian. Christian, you are Richard and Paula, Isabel, you are Stephanie. Action. Uh, hey, Stephanie. I hear. 
I hear you have a new job. Paula, at one. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Yes, Paola, you are the only Paola in my classroom. ¿Cuál soy? ¿Cuál soy? Stephanie. Okay, yes, I am teaching math at Lincoln High School. Uh, how do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are the things with you? No, but uh, I am five. A fighter now you now that's exciting uh, yes but uh, this very uh, stressful job uh, and sometimes it's dangerous excellent thank you both of you that was great all right let's go with adriana burgos you are stephanie Sonia Martinez, you are Richard. Action. Sonia Alawan. Sonia at two. Sonia at three. Okay, she's not. Let's go with the next one. Entonces, vamos a pedirle a Ana Meléndez. You are Richard. Action. Hey, Stephanie, I heard you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching Matt at Lincoln High School. What do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I am fired hard now, you know. That's excited. Yes, but it's very a stressful job and sometimes it's dangerous. That's correct. Thank you. Yes, how do you say stressful? See, it's a stressful part. Very good. Thank you. Congrats, Ana and Miss Burgos, all right? Let's go with Alison Juarez. You are Stephanie. Miguel, you are Richard. Action. Teacher, uh, Sonia dice que ya está lista. Oh, really? Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Bye, entonces, eh, vamos a cambiar, Miguel. Thank you. Sonia, usted sería Richard. Y Alison siempre sería Stephanie. Action. Hey Stephanie, I heard you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm five fighting fighter. Now you know. Now you know. That is exciting. Yes, but it's very a stressful job and some things it's dangerous. Okay, excellent. Sonia, repeat after me. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yes, very good. Okay, now let's move on to the following. We have... Gosh, wait. Ya comparto de regreso, okay? Tenemos dos estructuras claves aquí. Placement of adjectives, all right? Eh, la posición que toman los adjetivos when talking. We have be plus adjective. Miguel, read the sentences, please. A firefighters. Okay. Eh, be plus mass adjective. A firefighter's job is dangerous. A doctor's job is stressful. Thank you. Let's go with um, Oscar, adjective plus noun. Uh, firefighter has a dangerous job. 
uh, doctor has a stressful job. Very good, thank you. Notice that, quiero que notemos algo, right? En las cuatro oraciones estamos utilizando adjectives. ¿Cuáles son los adjectives que tenemos en las cuatro oraciones, Guadalupe? Dangerous, uh -huh. stressful. Yes. Solo esos dos, very good. Lo que pasa yeah. es que se repiten. That's correct, thank you. <coughs> Those two adjectives se han puesto o se han posicionado son dos mismos adjetivos en las cuatro sentences para que ustedes vean de que sí se pueden utilizar en distintas estructuras. Lo que va a variar es que en la, oración, en la primera estructura ustedes utilizan verb to be, right? el famoso verb to be, más el adjetivo. Por ejemplo, cuando usted dice is dangerous, is stressful, ahí está utilizando esa estructura. Mientras que en el adjetivo plus noun, usted, el noun que están utilizando en ambas oraciones es job, right? Entonces, usted va a anteponer el adjetivo, right? No me, va, no me va a decir job dangerous, sino que me tiene que decir a dangerous job, a dangerous work, a dangerous street, a dangerous eh, person, ¿ok? Me va a poner el noun después del adjective. All right. Mañana vamos a continuar trabajando este tema. Tengo las estructuras divididas y ya solo esto nos falta para terminar básicamente la plataforma en la sección 3. Ahora paso a encomendarles de nuevo que tienen que finalizar la sección 3. Algunos de ustedes ya lo hicieron. Congrats for that. Los felicito por ello. But some others not. Pero algunos no. No lo han logrado hacer. So let's work on it, please. Ok, trabajemos en eso. Eh, tienen que finalizar la entre ahora o mañana porque mañana trabajamos el examen final, el examen intermedio, el midterm exam. Y mañana mismo les revisan las tres secciones todas. Ya las vienen revisando, pero mañana completan las tres. All right. So that's pretty much it for today's class, my dear students. It was a pleasure to be with you. And I'm Teacher. Yes, Victor. Sorry, eh, una pregunta. Eh, en algunos casos, cuando se trabaja en la plataforma, eh, el apóstrofe no okay. lo, como que no lo reconoce. Es que el apóstrofe es diferente. No sé si ya intentó con el otro. Porque el de nosotros va hacia acá. No, el de nosotros va hacia acá, creo que es. Y el de ellos va hacia acá. Ah, ok. Right. Eh, lo que puede hacer es copiar y pegar de otra parte de la plataforma, Víctor. Donde le okay. aparezca un apóstrofe. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Welcome. All right, everyone. Have a great night. Take care. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank, Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher.